This video was brought to you by Elbilmerk, a Bedure Planner, Stormberg, Camp Power and Bill Componenter. Yo, what's up? This is Mini Countryman. It's, uh, well, it's a relatively spacious Mini compared to many of the classic Minis. So it's not like uh, I have shrunk, it's just that the car is actually fairly big. And it's the BMW iX1, iX2's brother from another brother. So we want to see now, how much space do we have? Can we fit enough banana boxes here compared to the iX1, iX2, or is it smaller? Hmm, let's start with the front first. Uh, well, there is uh, an engine cover. And if we lift out this, I just want to see what's beneath here. Right? This is just like BMW. There's a big cover that weighs extra, costs extra, which doesn't really do anything. And here we just have car stuff, but no front. But in the back, we actually have a fairly big trunk. And then this lid here can be open, but uh, not removed. And just like in the BMW, you can recline the seats. There's a little handle here or a, a tab you can pull. And then, okay, so if you go all the way for it, then you just click. Oh, uh, no, okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, is that 90 degree? Is it more, more than 90 degree forward? Uh, I'm not sure if I would uh, qualify this as a seating position, at least. Okay, on well, the next click, okay. Still quite church bench, but I think this is okay. Because if we can actually go even further down. Ah, oh, there, okay, but then we eat the more trunk space. So I wanna at least use this position then. Round one in the trunk. Let's see, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. That's the same as the BMW iX2, but then one less than iX1. Okay, let's fold the seat and try again. Okay, as usual, we tried to put as many boxes as possible in here, and I was surprised that it could swallow that much. Yeah, that's what he said. So, yeah, but you see, we have to then put a box vertically, not horizontally, because there's not that much leg space there. But at least when it comes to headroom, plenty, which we are able to utilize, and of course we have a sunroof there, so wow, and also this car is fairly boxy. And as usual, let's turn up the pitch and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 18, 19. 20, 21. Wow. So the Mini sits right between the BMW iX1 and iX2. So now we can choose. Do you want slightly more space, but less efficient car? Then you can get the Mini. Or if you want more space, then you have to get the iX1. Or maybe you want a more sporty look, then you can get the iX2. Yeah, this is like the Mini that fills the gap between the two BMWs. So that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.